Welcome to Rooster TV and today we're joined by one of the key cogs in our backline for over a decade now, I'd say Cameron, but uh, to Cameron Craig, thanks for joining us. Thanks Dubsy, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been, a, uh, it's been a while since we've jumped on here together, but uh, we'll probably just hit up the, uh, the game from the weekend first uh, mm -hmm. against Adelaide, who had a, a very good outfit out here at Prospect Oval and um, yeah, they got us done uh, pretty comfortably in the end. Yeah, it wasn't obviously the result we were after. Um, I think we started the, um, the game pretty well, um, probably controlled that first quarter. Didn't put it on the scoreboard though, unfortunately. And then, um, yeah, second quarter, they were probably just a bit too good for us, uh, a bit too much polish. Um, definitely had, had a lot of the ball coming down my end. Um, and yeah, we couldn't capitalise going forward as well. So had a bit of work to do in the second half and oh, you never know, we take some of those chances in the third quarter. It might've been a bit of a closer game, but yeah, probably just done by a bit of a better team on the weekend, unfortunately. Yeah, had a bit of a feel about the Wyala game last year. It's like when we've played Adelaide the last two or three times, uh, bar the, the final, that we've had a, a strong win going one way and they've just made the, uh, the most of it, I think. Yeah, definitely. And I think, like they've got some some pretty good players in through their mids there, and, and they use the ball well. So, yeah, it was just repeat entries, and in, in that second quarter, I feel like the wind uh, might have doubled there for a bit there. But um, yeah, we just couldn't get it out, and they they definitely took their chances, and yeah, it was probably the difference uh, in the day. Then after the game, uh, the uh, the state team, the West End state team, got announced uh, for mm -hmm. 2023, and uh, we had uh, seven representatives yep. picked, which is uh, a credit to the guys who, uh, who were selected, um, yeah, yourself included, so well done on that, uh, thoroughly you. deserved, so it's probably a bucket list item in your football journey that you'd like to get done. Definitely, yeah, um, haven't, haven't been in before, so yeah, it was pretty nice getting a phone call from Jade, um, just saying that you're obviously in the squad, um, still not in the team yet, so hopefully fingers crossed so I can play well this weekend and get in next week, but yeah, it was good, and obviously we had, um, I think, equal most out of all the other teams as well, so yeah, as you said, we had seven. Um, and also some other boys that have been in for the first time, like Noah, obviously, and, and Mags, which is good. And then some of the older boys like Wiggy and, and uh, Goat getting in again, which was good. So, yeah, yeah no, it was a good little spread, I think, which, yeah. is, which is nice for a reward for all the boys uh, playing some good footy. Yeah, and we did have a giggle about it before that, you know, Campbell Coombe was left out. Obviously, Serge just trying to look after his uh, prized possession in the midfield. Yeah, I think he's getting too many tackles, mate. He's probably <laughs> getting a bit too much beaten up there. So he's trying to just slide him under the radar. Yeah, um, yeah him, and, him and Spins, probably the other one, a bit unlucky. Yeah. So, yeah, Serge couldn't get that one done for him, so we'll have a chat to him. But uh, obviously, uh, you know, apart from the seven, we've got two coaches involved, so it's great to have, you know, Serge is going again um, with, with Jade and, and Mitch Clisby's jumped on board this year as well. Yeah, so obviously Clis's new role here as well. And um, I was talking, Jade actually told me last night that uh, he just approached Clis a couple of weeks ago and obviously they had a bit of a relationship um, when he was at the Demons and um, Clis was pretty excited, I think, to get involved with that because... Yeah, last night when we went to training, there was um, some some good heads around us, which is which is pretty good. So we can try and get some good good footy knowledge and, and good experience around there. So Cliz will, will love that, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe Anzac Day when I seen Cliz run over to Jade out in the oval, he, he might he might have went up to him and asked to to join. Maybe he just don't know. But uh, yeah, Cliz has been great to have around the club, also with you know, uh, Jake Walling and, and and the new coaches. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it's a little bit different because obviously I played with him as well. Um, but I think, I think, to be fair, like because he's obviously got that relationship with some of the players, it's probably easier for him to step in mm. to that role. Um, and I think it bridges the gap pretty nicely because there's definitely some of the players in the, in the um, twos at the moment that are looking to develop, and then he can lean on some of our senior players and say, hey, can you just help out with this and this? So I think they've, they've come to the role really, really well, and yeah, they're settling in nicely. And the, uh, the guy he replaced in that role in Darren Rees, we, uh, we head down to Glenelg to take on uh, Reaver and, and his crew of Tigers. Uh, yeah, just talk us through how that's going to feel for you guys. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know. Uh, it won't make much of a difference to me, but I think there'll be a little bit with uh, Serge and yeah. Reaver this week. Uh, a little bit of going on, uh, back and forth. So, yeah, it'll be interesting, definitely. Um, and we'll see how much of uh, the game plan is similar to ours, obviously. Um, he might have stolen a little bit, so that'll be interesting. But, look, they're, they're playing some good footy down there, so it's going to be another tough tough game. But, yeah, looking forward to it. I, I, I like playing down there, so yeah, it's good. I, I tried to ignite a text uh, message war between Reaver and Serge, but they're both given donuts, so I'll have to maybe have a war with myself until someone bites. But uh, on to the Bays, obviously, 4-1, and one, good start of the year. Uh, you know, Pretty well the same team with the, you know, their core group still coming back. Just uh, obviously a powerful forward line which which we need to control, but also their midfields as you know as good as any in the comp. Yeah, pretty experienced as you said, especially around the ball. Um, they probably had the same midfield for the last four four years, and they 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 get it done in there well. And then as you said, up forward they've got 
some some good targets up there, and, and even down back they've got some some really good players. So they're, they're probably set all over the ground. Um, it's definitely some areas that hopefully we can we can get them in. But yeah, we know it's going to be definitely a hard challenge this week. And who do you normally get, mate? Or are you going to keep that yourself? No, we'll keep it. I actually don't know yet. Yeah. We, we'll go into an off meeting now, but I think I've had all of them in the past, so I'm not sure who, who Serge will want me to go to this week. Yeah, I think our backs are flexible enough to, to roll over on each of them, so yeah, just got to make sure we get our jobs done when the contest uh, uh, does come our way, and hopefully we can uh, head down there and get another win uh, like we did last year. So very important uh, contest for ourselves. Yeah. Going into the to the bye next week. Yeah, definitely. It'd be a little bit different four and two compared to three and three. So yeah, big week and obviously all the boys know that. So hopefully we can yeah chalk off a win this week down at the base. Awesome, mate. Thanks for joining us. Obviously it's a massive game for uh, the Roosters. It's always a good uh, game to head down to Glenelg and we get a, a good a good crowd. So make sure you get down there and support the boys. We've got uh, eleven twenty for the reserves, We've got the main game at two ten, and then we have the uh, the women who are still in the finals race after a great win against the top of the table Panthers on the weekend at five o'clock. So Get down there, bring your colours and let's support the boys uh, hopefully to another win. Thank you. Cheers.